Good afternoon. My name is Sabrina. Today is January 18th, 2017. And I wanted to suggest we create National Empath Day. Let's create a day where we really honor and celebrate all of the empaths that are incarnated on our planet at this now time. If you're wondering if you're an empath, this video is probably for you. If you are feeling discouraged and disappointed, even uh, exhausted because you're an empath, this video is for you. This is an opportunity to be honored, to be celebrated, to be um, validated for the significance, for the work you're doing, the importance of the work you're doing, to really to be recognized. You know, one of the things in our human um, requirements for, for happiness, for balance is recognition. And I have witnessed so many empaths who are not recognized. They're not recognized by themselves or maybe in their community, their circle of friends. Uh, many empaths don't even know that they're empaths. So they're not even getting that self-validation of realizing and, and honoring the importance of the work that they're doing. So let's talk about a couple things. What is an empath? Um, how can we honor and recognize an empath and celebrate them? If we are an empath and we're feeling that our multidimensional gift is a curse, not a blessing, how, what are some tools we can use to help us um, transition and, and find that peace of mind and find that, that inner um, strength and that inner um, pride of being an empath and, and having the stamina to keep moving forward. So first of all, what is an empath? An empath is a person with a multidimensional ability or skill set to feel. It's a person with a high sensitive emotional body. The empaths are able to feel not just their emotional body, but other uh, emotional body. They can be emotional bodies of physical people that are in the room or in the location that you're in. They can also be energetic imprints. Let me say that again. They can be energetic imprints of emotional bodies that are still in the field. That's why you can go to geographic locations. You can go to places where there is still so much imprinted energy in the field and you are accessing the emotions of the energies that are still left there. Why do we need the empaths? What are the empaths doing? Why are they so darn valuable and, and important to us? Well, in our reality, playing the polarity game or the separation game, we got disconnected from our source or the truth of who we are or the, the wholeness of who we are. So in the separation or polarity game, we discriminated against the emotional body in order to help with the separation. The way we have discriminated against the emotional body is to judge, label, and um, criticize certain emotions. For example, the emotions of jealousy, the emotions of anger, sadness, depression, loneliness. These are some examples of emotions that are judged, that are condemned, that are criticized. So when people are experiencing these natural emotions within the human body, many people hide it. They suppress it. They were taught you have to suppress it. I was raised in a in a, a family, even though my parents are very loving, we were raised in the generation where um, if you're going to cry, I'll give you something to cry about were the exact words that I heard. And many of us were raised to not allow the emotional body to exist. We were shamed to have our emotions. Have you seen people who shame boys or girls who cry in public or who get mad in public? We, we have had so much uh, discrimination, so much unhealthy patterns with the emotional body. So instead of these emotions being able to live, to be seen and validated, and then to be fluid, to move on, they get trapped, they get stuck, and they get stuck within the physical container, they get stuck within the energetic container, they get stuck in within the emotional body. And that's why the empaths can feel it. Because in our reality on this planet, in this dimension, there is an enormous amount of trapped 
energy, trapped emotions that have not been seen, that have not been felt, have not been validated. Therefore, they can't get transmuted. And that's what the empaths do for us. They are so sensitive. They feel these emotional bodies. They feel these energetic patterns, the stuck patterns and, and feelings and sensations. And they are able to feel them because their gift, their multidimensional gift is they can easily sense them, feel them, experience them. Then they have the option to validate them, to honor them. And then in the validating and in the honoring, they get transmuted. And that's what the empaths are doing. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of awareness or information or education for the empaths. So many people are accessing these emotions because that's what they're here to do. They're here to help feel it, experience it, and clear it, but they don't realize that that's what their gift is. So they're experiencing all these emotions, but they make the mistake of thinking all of these intense emotions are theirs. And that's why you often find a lot of empaths who are so sensitive, they, they have a challenging life because they're accessing so much sadness, so much grief, so much anger, so much uh, loneliness that they feel that it's theirs. So one of the tools you can do to help yourself or to help a friend who might be empathic is ask the question, is this emotion mine? Does this emotion belong to me? Start communicating with the emotions. Are you mine? Do you belong to me? And if for a second, if for a moment you feel a sense of relief, if you feel a lightness, if you feel a sense of freedom, that's your indicator that that emotion that you're feeling and experiencing is not yours. That's an indicator that you're an empath and your multidimensional ability is accessing, feeling, experiencing these emotions because you have the capacity to clear it for humanity, for the evolution of our species. So this is a tool from Access Consciousness, and it is a super, super effective tool. So remember, when you're feeling stuck in a strong emotional uh, feeling, sensation, whatever the emotion is, start communicating with that emotion. Do you belong to me? Are you mine? And I would say 70, 80% of the emotions the empaths feel are not theirs. They're, they're feeling, experiencing these emotions for the collective, for parallel realities, for templates, uh, ancestral line. There's so many uh, uh, you know, the, there are so many layers to these emotions that have been stuck and stagnant and trapped for so long. And that's what the empaths are doing. So just to really know that this gift really is a gift. This capacity to be able to feel at this level is so powerful. Our empaths are so, so powerful. In our reality, a lot of times the empaths don't get the validation that they deserve. You know, the people who are psychic or the people who are, quote, channeling, you know, that's a more glorified multidimensional ability to many people. Many people who don't understand the depth and the layers of all of the multidimensional gifts. So you might get a lot of... Um, fame or credit if you're a psychic, if you're a medium, if you're a channeler. But if you're an empath, maybe not so much. If you're an empath, you might be sitting in isolation, feeling really separated, feeling really lonely, feeling really disappointed and discouraged and not understanding your value, your power, your, your significance to all of us. So if you're an empath, this video is for you. Thank you. I want to thank you. I, I see you. I honor you. I respect you. I value you. If you know uh, someone who's an empath and they're feeling these feelings of loneliness or, or sadness or anger, just hug them or just say thank you. Whether you do it verbally or through a written letter or through a uh, um, uh, get together in person or the mail or uh, t social media texting or just even in silence. You can energetically take a moment every day to thank and appreciate all of our empaths who have incarnated on this planet. The work they are doing is so momentous. It is, is so powerful. And so if you are an empath, I just, I, I honor you and I thank you. And, 
And I think it's important that we we take time every day to appreciate the empaths. And I think it's a beautiful, inspired idea to have a national empath day or have a national empath week or or month to really help educate uh, all of the people of the, the valuable work that the empaths are doing and to really validate them, let them know that they're seen, they're appreciated, and they are so, so significant and powerful in the work that they've chosen to do to encourage incarnate on this planet for the evolution of all of us, for the evolution of our, our species, our planet. So thank you. Thank you, Empaths.